What's going on everybody? Ray Woods here, channel Crab Out The Bucket. I know it's been a long time since I put a video out, but yeah, you read the title right. My Army Vision Waiver got approved. Let's get into the video. So for everybody that is struggling to get their medical waiver approved, I'm gonna give you the number one secret that you can do to solve and get your medical waiver approved. It's really as simple as this, keep pushing. You just keep pushing, you keep pushing all the documents. It took, I was expected to leave in February, but it took, what is it, May now? It took to the end of April until I got some feedback saying that everything was approved and then they wanted some more paperwork and stuff like that. So it took some time. I went back and forth to the eye doctor. I was getting more paperwork done. I had to make sure I had the topography or something like that on the document so I can, before the, the sergeant would send that up to the chain of command so they can approve my vision waiver. It shouldn't have took this long, but it's got approved. And that's really all you gotta do is just keep pushing. You know, at one point it's like, if you keep pushing and they still not trying to push, still not trying to give you the waiver, especially if they, you know, you know how MEPs be tripping and, and the system be tripping. Uh, they pretty much told me, you know, you might have to do a congressional, which is, I guess, when you write a letter to the, the I guess, the mayor or something of the city, and then they get involved in all this other extra stuff. But I didn't have to do that. They ended up approving it anyway, so now I'm at that point. You know, I would also go as far as saying this. If you can't do a congressional, if your waiver gets disapproved, uh, you know, and really they say, no, you can't go, you can always... Go get your LASIK, go get PRK, go get the surgery done, save us some money, get that done. And then you can come back and go through the process again. And you should be able to go through at that point. So before you go forward, after you get your medical waiver approved, because it's still not time to go yet. And even for me, it's still not time to go yet. There has not been any swearing in, no signing of any documents, nothing like that. But before you go, my number one suggestion to you would be, and to anybody who's trying to do any military branch is do not, I repeat, do not go to the military simply for money. Yeah, you get your signing bonuses, you get this taken care of, you get your, your benefits, all this type of stuff. Do not go in there for money. I made that mistake when I went to school and I went to school for a certain degree that I'm not 100% happy with because I wanted to do exercise science, but I did engineering because I simply chased the money. So money's gonna come. With technology today, with so many things to do, people make money off of anything. Like, it's crazy what you can make money off of nowadays. So don't worry about the money. Find another reason and find multiple reasons to why you wanna go into the military. And I wanna serve my country is not shouldn't even be in your list of things because the fact that you sign your name on that piece of paper it's already assumed that you're putting your life at risk to go serve in the military for the united states of america now to the sad news i've had a big change of heart and even though i got my vision waiver approved i text my recruiter and i told him that i won't be going to the military I will not be doing Army LCS. Um, you know, before they told me I would have to do four years minimum to if I'm going to become an officer, and then they brought up to me I could do National, uh, not National Guard, Army Reserve, and still be officer. But at the same time, what I just said earlier about going for money, I was really going in the military for the stability. I've had a lot of issues with different jobs. I've had a lot of issues with other companies, uh, companies being bought out and laid off and all this type of thing. So I said, hey, let me go into the military so I can build some stability, get some uh, credentials behind my name, get my master's degree in engineering and all this other stuff. But I was, it still was chasing after money. And I decided to myself, follow my gut feeling this time. Don't Logically, it makes sense. Logically, the money makes sense. The benefits after you serve makes sense. Being able to travel, so many different things make sense. But a lot of the stuff that you get inside the military, you can obtain outside of the military. So that'd be my suggestion to think about that. And this is why I've decided not to go into the military. Now, with that being said, I do have some things that have pretty much manifested somewhat of the way I want it. And of course I need to put in some more work to tweak some things, but there are some plans coming out. Of course, I'll be, I'll still be making YouTube videos. It may not necessarily be about military stuff, but 
you know, that's pretty much where I'm at with my life right now is I've decided not to go into it. Uh, I'll still be off of social media. I'll be making YouTube videos and I'll post every now and then, but there's some focus that I have my mind towards, towards my career now with the current company I'm at and in real estate. So that is my focus. And a lot of that stuff technically don't need the military for. So I don't see a, a purpose for it. And then being away for so long, uh, that wasn't something that I wanted to do, especially with, with my wife being here. So a quick recap, my vision waiver got approved, awesome. How you get your vision waiver approved, keep pushing, keep getting the documents. If it gets too serious, go do a congressional, do your own research on that. Uh, it may be different rules and different laws in different states. So go do your own research on that. Um, you know, I've decided not to go and that is pretty much the end of that so yeah man complete different change of heart but you know i had some long time doing some thinking especially in the period of time waiting on the on the documents to be approved but guys i hope you enjoyed this video i hope i gave you some good uh information some good feedback i know you guys waited for a long time to see what's going on this is what's happening if you haven't already subscribed go ahead and smash that subscribe button like comment let me know how you feel let me know what steps you're going through in the military and until then this is ray woods channel crab out the bucket helping you escape from your bad old habits peace out <laughs>